we're ready to get started. And with SP Page Builder, at least for the first page, you need to start in the back end. Everything else after your first page, including editing that first page, can be done from the front end, and that's what I'm going to recommend. But to get started, you have to click the New button and save your first page here in the back end. Now, the back end doesn't give you any preview, and it's a little hard to edit. That's why I'm saying we're going to do most of our editing in the front end. But that said, let's start here in the back end. It's really simple. Click New, and we're asked, well, what do you want to do? We can start by adding a section, importing a previously exported SP Page Builder page, export the current one, or use page templates. Again, page templates won't work until you actually put in your username and password in the options area. But I'm going to just choose page template for now. And because I have Pro, all of these awesome page templates are here for me. Well, let's say if I wanted to have a hosting page. Really simple to do. I'm going to click on hosting. I can have a home page, domain page, services, pricing, about, or contact page all predefined for me with the colors and everything set. Of course, everything is changeable really easily. Let's just go ahead and click on Home and click Import. And there we have it. We have a brand new page, and I'm just going to call this Home and click Save. Now, that's live and active on our site, but it's not necessarily our home page yet simply because we haven't defined the menu. Coming back here to the back end, of course, I can edit any of these. It gets a little bit tricky, I've got to admit, when you're just looking at the text. Of course, I can take a quick peek and edit it, but that doesn't still give me any idea of what I'm editing. You'll notice as soon as I click Save, I have got a new Front End Editor button here and a Preview button. If I click Preview, it's going to give me a nice quick preview of what my new home page is going to look like. As well, I can click on Front End Editor and edit that from the front end. As I mentioned a few moments ago, you can actually edit everything from the front end, including adding pages to menus on the fly. It's really awesome. So I'm going to click Save. Of course, you have Save and Close, Save and New, and Save as Copy. And once again, even on individual pages. I have open graph, title, image, and description. I can add some custom CSS to the page and embed it right in the page. I can assign it to a category if I want, language and access, and then of course define any permissions I need. I'm going to click Close, and I'm going to go over to my menu and update my main menu to reflect this change. It's really simple. Click Select, and as you would expect, you choose SP Page Builder, click on Page, and then select the page. The only other thing, make sure you change that page heading to No. Save and Close. Now when I click on Home, there's my new page, and it's really easy, really gorgeous, and gives me a fantastic head start in finishing up my new home page. So because this is just a simple demo site, I'm going to put a login menu item at the top and go ahead and log in and go back to my home page. So now that I'm logged in, I can edit this page or create a new page. To create a new page, it's a little bit tricky. Click Edit Page that you're on. Click on Pages and click the plus symbol. And I'm going to call this Hosting and click Create Page. Now it gives me the entire, now it gives me the starting point that I had in the back end. This is really simple. I'm going to click Page Templates. I'm going to find that hosting page and I'm going to set up a pricing, set up a pricing page and click Import. I'm going to click Save and now my new pricing page is ready to go. And all I have to do now to add it to a menu so I can get back to it is click on Tools, Add to Menu, and give it a title. Of 
The trick is you have to click save before you do that. If you don't, it'll leave the page and you'll lose your changes. Well, I'm going to click save and close. And congratulations, we now have a home page and a pricing page using the built in templates that come with SP Page Builder. In the next video, we're going to start by checking out the add ons, then the blocks, layouts, tools, and pages so you can start to build your site as quickly as possible.